welcome back to the YouTube. As you will have seen by the title, I have done some KFC loaded fries. Let me just give you a close up of those first. Oh my gosh. These are very chicken based, but they have everything. We've got their new fries, we've got popcorn chicken, we've got the barbecue bites, we've got mini fillet, and we have got gravy. But I also really want to try the new KFC Christmas burger. I went for the one with the one chicken fillet in there rather than two. I'm really intrigued. This is what it looks like. It has like a stuffing patty in it, which I don't know if you can see like that. Like the ground thing there is stuff in patty um and it seems to have some sort of like chili jam on it i'm gonna have a few more bites of the loaded fries first because um a lot of people will have come from my tiktok which is where we just created these um but because they're hot i want to have them mm. the mix of the barbecue sauce and the gravy is perfect a bit messy to eat but i don't care i love the popcorn chicken so much they have like a peppery taste to them and these balls as well the um the barbecue chicken balls literally like the crispiest outer coating so good let's go one more big bite and then we'll move on to the burger absolutely <gasps> love it mm -hmm. okay let's give this burger a go i quite like the bun it's like a um it's quite a tough bun <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense but i feel like this is definitely going to fall let's try this bit of sauce first What is it? Is it strawberry? Mm. Okay, I literally just had to stop the video to check if it was strawberry and then obviously it's cranberry. I don't know why my brain didn't obviously assume it was gonna be cranberry. Right, I feel like that stuffing thing is quite big. I don't think that's gonna make it a bit dry. But anyway, that is what the burger looks like. Let's have a go. You know what? I'm not mad at that. It's a bit dry. I've got some gravy. It's good though. A little bit dry. I do need to get um, some gravy on there. Okay, this is the bite. <laughs> the crispy chicken though. It is though. A messy burger. Okay. I do feel, I'm going back in for some of these, but I do feel like the Christmas spirit is really high this year. The past few years, I feel like it's just been a bit like low. I don't know why. It just hasn't felt the same. But this year, I feel like everyone's really got. Oh, I don't know why I did. I just did the barbecue thing and then gravy. I don't know why I did that. Good though. Mm. That is a big old bite of everything. It's officially the first Sunday in December. That's fantastic. I love Christmas so much. Weirdly, my favourite thing about Christmas is the music. My favourite Christmas song is Michael Bublé, Christmas, Baby Please Come Home. And that always surprised me when I say that to myself because it is factual. I absolutely love that Michael Bublé song, but I am... Well, I wouldn't have classed myself as a Michael Bublé fan. Like, I, did, I found his voice really annoying in everything else but that song. But that song, I have to, like, save it until I feel so Christmassy that I can, like, appreciate it. But I love that song. And Christmas films as well top three christmas films off the top of my head number one it's a wonderful life number two national lampoon's christmas vacation number three love actually and i don't think i'll ever get the um the hype train around elf <laughs> i just don't get it like i watch it but i'm not a massive fan of will ferrell so maybe that's a reason why and also, I just don't think it's like, I just don't class it as like a Christmas classic, like Polar Express, Home Alone. I love a good Christmas film. And, so that was quite an aggressive and, um, 
<clears throat> I've mentioned a few times that we've got the Odeon Limitless Plus passes, so we can see like all the films that come out um, for like a set price per month. And Odeon are showing It's Wonderful Life, Love Actually. Um, can't remember, I can't remember what the other ones were. There was loads. Anyway, they're showing like Christmas films at the cinema, and I just think that's so magical. I've been kind of cry. I always cry at the end of Love Actually anyway for Emma Thompson. Genuinely, that scene breaks me. Mm. I'm not always quite at the end of It's a Wonderful Life. If people haven't seen that film, just watch it. Just watch it. It's a Wonderful Life is probably one of the most impactful and don't don't even worry about it being black and white because once you've watched it for 10 minutes you literally can't even tell and they also have color versions that are out now so you could watch a color version if i ever have gravy left i always drink it <laughs> i don't think it was that weird because were you gonna leave gravy no oh god <laughs> someone's like parking right next to me okay there's literally a whole car park I'm not even joking, a whole car park and she's parking directly next to me and now she's like can't get out and she's like stuck and she's doing like a five point ten oh she's a learner okay she's a learner you can't judge learners we always, always support learners okay but it wasn't like a learner car give me a break on that it just had the little learner sticker okay now I feel bad anyway <laughs> I didn't want to do this one as too long of a video because people don't watch for that long but if you like the longer videos you can let me know let me know what other places you want me to try their christmas menu if you enjoyed like and subscribe and i will catch you next week bye